guys and your partner are going to have a gate. The gate, Eliza, it's Chris, but Jill's going to have a gate. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. You're going to have a gate. You're going to have a gate. Two cones. You're going to stand on one end of the cones and your partner's going to stand on the other end. All we are going to do at first is work on our plant foot, which is the foot next to the ball. Okay. And our passing foot. We're just going to work on the fundamentals of passing the living room. Okay? Fundamentals so far are, what is this one called? Plant, planter or plant foot. Okay? If I point my plant foot towards Kristen over here, where do you think the ball is going to go? To Kristen, right? But if I plant my foot towards Jill, where do you think the ball is going to go? To Jill. Okay. So the next thing to remember is you don't want to be too close to the ball or too far when you plant your foot. Okay, so plant foot. Not too close, not too far. Plant foot points to where you're trying to go. The next thing is what part of the surface of your foot are you going to hit the ball with? Toe, so your heel, or back in the middle. Okay, you guys see where... You guys see where your Nike or your Adidas or your Diodora is on the inside of your foot? Or your, or your New Balance or whatever it is? Okay. It's going to be right there. Take a look at that spot on your foot. Do you see it? Yep, right in there. Right there. Okay. So you guys are trying. Listen, guys. Listen. Hey there, how are you? Um, you are trying to hit the ball with the middle part of your cleat. Okay. Um, also, you're going to try to hit your foot through the middle of the ball. Okay, so you step up to the ball. I want you to do 10 each. I'm going to do 10. I'm going to pass the ball to Jill. She's going to stop it. And then she's going to pass it to me. One, one, two, two, okay, all the way up to 10. Right? So it's just going to be nice. Plant, step, pass. She stops it. She plants. She steps. She passes. I stop it. I plant. I pass. Okay? This is going to be her fourth pass. Okay? So, after we've done ten on the right foot, what foot are we going to work left, with next? Left. Left foot. Um, okay? Does, does each person do ten passes? Each person does ten passes. That makes twenty passes. That makes twenty passes for the whole game. You guys are thinking this summer. I like it. Warmed up the brain earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Jill, anything to add to that? No, the importance of be able to lock the ankle. How do we lock the ankle when we make a pass? What do we do to lock the ankle? Anyone? Keep your foot straight. Keep your foot straight. Yeah. This what else? Wiggle. That's this is now a is that locked? Keep. Is her ankle locked too in that? Keep your legs straight. So what do we mean by locked ankle? There you go. So what do we do with the toe to help lock her ankle? Point it. Point it. Up. There Flex you go. Good up. job. Flex Point it up. And what part of the foot is pointed down? The heel. Ball. The heel. Good, you guys. So when we say toe up, heel down, when we go to strike a ball, that means what Jill just said, the ankle is locked. If my toe is down, if my heel is up, and I go to pass the ball, I have no idea where the ball is going to go. Good. Anything else? All right. Get a gate. Get a partner. Take your ball with you. Move back a little bit. We're gonna stop it. Just stop it right here, and then pass it to us. Okay. Nice. Yep. Step in and pass. Stop it with your feet. Don't let it go between your legs, Marin. And make sure you bend. Bend your knee. Okay. And then push your foot through it. Yep. Like that. Yep. Bend your knee though, Marin. Bend your knee. Good job, Lauren. That was good. Michaela, good job.